man has forged ahead. New and better things have sprung from his industry and his genius. The greater and better world of tomorrow, a vivid tribute to the American scheme of living, whereby individual effort, the freedom to think, and the will to do have given birth to a generation of men who always want new fields for greater accomplishment. Come, let's travel into the future. What will we see? Now to a dire warning about climate change. According to a new report, experts say that we have until 2030 Tonight, the UN has to avoid catastrophe. Warning. Some of the official predictions made about climate change are high to be what recently caused the largest monthly mental crisis in the administration to come. It's been a summer of droughts across large parts of Europe, and wildfires raging where the schools and goats from Sweden. We're talking about a fundamental alteration of one of the uh, givens of the globe that we inhabit caused by man himself and one which is essentially irreversible on the normal human time scale. Between 1950 and 1997, the number of cars in the world increased from 50 million to 580 million. What a disaster! The ship is leaking oil and it's producing a terrible oil spill! How many of these kinds of factories are there? In North Carolina alone, there are over 2,000. How much money has been raised so far? The Arno family uh, has pledged 200 million euros. Uh, the Pino family, 100 million euros. He says he wants to revive the jewel of our heritage. The crisis in the Amazon, where fires are raging at a record rate. 74,000 in Brazil this year, up 84% with the Amazon fires posing a devastating threat to the region and the world. But there could be some benefits too. With moderate temperature rises, fewer people will succumb to cold winters. A wider variety of wine grapes could be grown, and increased rainfall in the northeast could expand agriculture. The pursuit of profit, otherwise known as the old grind, the old rat race, chasing the buck, or what have you. Everything you do directly affects Profit. Sales, they've got to go up. Expenses, they've got to go down. And I mean right now. Inside each shed are over 100,000 hens, confined in long aisles of battery cages, stacked four tiers high. Since we can't experience animal thought, we can deny its reality. Since we can't prove that killing is wrong by gathering data, we can deny its reality. And those two components of what I call scientific ideology reinforced each other. Science has nothing to do with ethics, so you don't worry about animal pain. And if you want to worry about animal pain, you say it isn't really pain, it's mechanical. Just a minute. Aren't you going to tell them? Tell them what? What they can do about it. I don't have to tell them. Listen, I know those guys. Do you? What do you mean, do I? Take another look at them, Arthur. They're all you, Arthur. Or more to the point, you're all of them. One guy, Arthur. Dropping out something else, it's like uh, dropping out means just turning, getting away from the establishment. 
But you drop out, you got to drop out into something. There is no dropping out. You, everything goes into something. And it's a matter of what you want to go into. You can't beat a problem by running away from it. You must first wipe that problem off the slate, so to speak. You dig? You must get rid of that problem in order to be able to drop any place. Because as long as you're dropping, that problem can follow you wherever you go. I mean, you can't get rid of a problem by running. and its faiths preserved, there is new beauty and new strength in the city of tomorrow. Technology can point the way to a future of limitless promise, but man must chart his own course into tomorrow.